Wimbledon uh, starts today in southwest London, but it won't feature the two time winner Andy Murray this year. He's pulled out on the eve of the tournament, saying that with a heavy heart, he's just not ready to go five sets. So, no Andy Murray this year. Um, uh, Serena Williams is back. Uh, she took last year off to become a mother. Uh, Roger Federer will open things up on centre court today as is tradition. Uh, and I asked uh, prior to the championships the Wimbledon chief executive, Richard Lewis, whether the championships would consider taking on more sponsorship and advertising uh, partnerships during the tournament. It's something that we uh, never really think about. What we'd focus on is our brand. We, we are very keen to uh, maintain our traditions and our heritage and celebrate that. And, and any change where we believe change is justified. And the way we present the championships, with the way we present Centre Court, we think is getting increasingly unique in, in world sport. And we think that's great for us. And we think the more sponsorship there is in other venues and, and signage and all that sort of thing, the more special it makes Wimbledon and in particular Centre Court. And actually, to be honest, that makes us more valuable. So we get terrific feedback from our official suppliers who are able to activate their branding and their association with the championships in other ways and, and probably more subtle ways. And so we think it's a win-win that over a, period, a longer period of time it's actually more valuable rather than having uh, more overt sponsorship. The official suppliers are very important to us, Sassinger being a prime example of supply, the ball, the back netting and that sort of thing. And it's one of the longest uh, sponsorships or relationships in, in, in world sport. And those relationships are very important, not just for the immediate, but about talking about the future. So we might talk to a company like Rolex or IBM and say, well, what is your global marketing strategy? Because we are a global event. We want to increase our visibility and profile globally, not just in, in Britain. Uh, what are your plans? How can we help you? And one of the things we're doing this year that's new is we're becoming uh, our own host broadcaster. So we are... Wimbledon Broadcast Services is producing, producing the, the world feed. We're uh, showing to the world images and pictures and live content from the time the first ball is hit until the last ball is, is hit. And that's allowing us to uh, work with our international broadcasters to, to give them more content. And um, every year we will continue to invest in the technology and, and how we give them better footage and better coverage of Wimbledon. Fabulous work there, Adam. Thank you very much. I'm actually fed up with boring, rubbish segues as well. But it's safe to say that Benoit Paire, of course, of France, was going to be Andy Murray's first part, uh, opponent, but Andy Murray's pulled out. So Benoit Paire of France will now uh, either play someone else or get a buy, I guess. Uh, that will be TBC. Probably get a lucky loser and we'll turn up from the yeah. qualifying but, but anyway. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.